What it is, y'all? It's Boy Rook here with another video. There's something I like to call the seatback theory. Today, I'm the professor. So sit back, open your mind, listen, and get ready for today's lesson. <coughs> Class is now in session. We all heard of the seatback game, right? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. One person sitting down, they gotta get up for whatever reason. They want their seat when they get back. They call seatback. I know you're probably sitting there thinking, what the hell this gotta do with anything? I'm glad you asked that question. On one hand, we have the sitter. By definition of this video, that's a person that cheats. Then on the other hand, we have the seat. By definition of this video, that's the faithful one in the relationship. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason, people like to apply this game to their romantic relationship. Now, let's break it down. Whoa, hold up. Don't forget, this applies to both genders. For example, let's take a man or the sitter. He makes a woman his girlfriend or claim a seat. He gets up to do whatever he wants, sleep with whoever he wants, rock whoever world, you know, make a couple flicks, whatever. But when he comes back, he wants his seat or his woman waiting on him. So with no intentions of being faithful, he claims a woman to be his girlfriend. But from time to time, he want to step out and do what he do. So that's why I call it the seat back theory. Basically something claimed just to be held on to. Now I met a lot of good women in my time. I mean, I'm 26. So you can say it's a lot of seats I would have loved to sit in, but I couldn't because those seats was waiting on their sitter, their boyfriend. Knowing they not happy, they decided to stay claimed. There's nothing I could do about that. Now this is not a theory that I applied myself. I was never a sitter. So the science behind all this is just my good observation. So if you're in a healthy, good relationship, you should never feel like a seat. And with that being said, if you feel like a seat, then guess what? You are a seat, and no one should be anybody's seat. Now, there's different types of seats. Now, we got the love seat. The love seat could be a person that's a side chick, for example, that provides love and comfort to a man that he may not get at home. We got the bus seat. That's the pay to play seat. You gotta have some money to get in that seat. We got another seat. I'm not even gonna name that yet. I want you, I want you, cause there's a lot of seats out there that this seat. I want you to tell me what you are. I'm a wait for it. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Tell, tell me what you are. You know what you are because you're in the seat. It's a lot of women out there that I tried to sit in that seat and they didn't want to let me sit in that seat because they was this seat. Now this seat could be found in any home, apartment, abandoned homes, anything, any home, any place, even tour buses, RVs. You ain't get it yet? You don't know what you are yet? Some of y'all, the toilet seat, just get shitted on all day. Some people take shits two times a day, three times a day, just take shit, that's all you are. You're that seat, you're the toilet seat, the person that they shit on, that's you. But in all seriousness though, when you come across a sitter, don't be a seat, I holla at y'all. Hey y'all, it's Boy Rook. Hey, I just wanna send a quick reminder, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, hit me on Facebook or whatever you wanna do, either or, do both, how about that, do both. Facebook.com slash uh, whatever, Boy Rook and youtube.com slash boyrook. Hit that subscribe button if you're on YouTube already. If you don't have an account, it takes about 30 seconds, especially if you already have a Google account, you just go to YouTube, click create, and it's boom, it's there. And click subscribe. 